What are subaccounts in QuickBooks Online and how do we create them? Well, we're going to be covering both of those questions in this video. If we're just meeting, my name is Melinda and I'm a QuickBooks Online Certified Pro Advisor and owner of 406 Bookkeeping Services, LLC. If you're a business owner and would like to see if we're a good fit to partner with your business for bookkeeping services, then check out the link in the description of this video. And at the end of this video, I'll also be sharing how you can attend my free QuickBooks Online crash course. Now, what is a sub account and why would we use them? So if we look at the profit and loss report here for this company, Company. You'll see here that we have a lot of accounts already set up. We have advertising, we have automobile, we have equipment rental, but under some of these, we have what's called a sub account. So for example, here under legal and professional fees, we have a sub account here for accounting, bookkeeping, and lawyers. And we can tell that they are sub accounts because they are tabbed over underneath of this legal and professional fees account. So in this example, we can see the total amount spent during this time on legal and professional fees by looking here at the totals line. So you can see here the total, or we can minimize this and see the total. But since we have it broken down into sub accounts, we can also see the exact amount that we spent on, let's say for example, lawyer fees. So $400 was spent on lawyer fees during this time period. So as you can see, there are times that this can come in really handy when you wanna see the individual amounts that you've paid versus just looking at the total for the main category. Another example here is under job expenses. We have job materials as a sub account, and then under job materials, we also have a sub account for decks and patios, for plants and soil, et cetera. So how do we actually set up these sub accounts in QuickBooks Online? So it's really simple. We're gonna go over here to the top right and we're gonna click on the gear icon. And then we're gonna click on chart of accounts right here. Now here you'll see all of the accounts and sub accounts that you have already set up in QuickBooks, as well as the accounts that QuickBooks already created for you when you set up your QuickBooks for your business. So for this example, we're gonna assume that you want to set up sub accounts for your subscriptions, okay? You probably already have a main account called dues and subscriptions. So as you can see here, QuickBooks already has it in this one, but we're gonna set up sub accounts under this dues and subscription account so that we can keep track of which subscriptions we're actually still paying for so that we can make sure that we aren't getting charged for a subscription that we no longer use. So we're gonna go up here and click on this green new button and we're gonna choose the account type up here at the top. In this example, we're gonna have expenses. Now in this top drop down menu here, you're either gonna scroll and find the account that you wanna make the sub account under or you can just start typing in the account name in this section here. So we're gonna type subscriptions and dues and subscription pops up. So we're gonna click on that there. Then of course, you're gonna fill in this tax form section. Dues and subscription is perfect for what we're doing. And then we're gonna give our sub account a name right here under account name. So for this one, we'll say that we have an Amazon Prime subscription, okay? Now, if we scroll further down the screen, we're gonna see here that QuickBooks is giving us a preview of how this sub account will show up on our profit and loss report. So we have dues and subscriptions and Amazon Prime is gonna show up as a sub account underneath it. Now, if your sub account that you just created is showing up under the account that you want it to be under, then go ahead and click this save button down here in the bottom right. Now, if we look here in our chart of accounts and we scroll down until we see dues and subscriptions, Let's see, where's that one at here? Okay, right here. We can now see that Amazon Prime shows underneath the dues and subscriptions and it's tabbed over here, just like it showed up on the profit and loss report, showing us that this is a sub account of dues and subscriptions. Now, if we need to make changes to uh, this sub account, we can click over here on the right on this drop down arrow, and then we're gonna click edit right here. Now that's one way that you can create a sub account, but let's say you're categorizing transactions in your banking feed and you come across another subscription that you wanna make into a sub account underneath dues and subscriptions. And you don't wanna to have to leave the banking screen and go all the way to your chart of accounts where we just filled this one in. Well, the good news is you can create a sub account right there in your banking feed. So let's go over here to the left sidebar, and we're gonna look for transactions here. We're gonna hover over that and we're gonna choose bank transactions right there. Okay, now we're here in our checking account. 
And let's scroll down to some transactions here. And let's just pretend like this $1,200 here is a payment for a subscription. Okay, we're gonna click on it. And if we click on the account field here, we could select the correct account or sub account if it's already created by just scrolling uh, till you see the right one or just by starting to type in the account that you wanna put it under. But if we need to create a new sub account, then let's just go here to the top of this list here and we're gonna click on this add new account. Now here we're gonna choose the correct account type like we did before. So we're going to choose expenses down here at the bottom right here. Then we're going to select our detail type. So let's just choose dues and subscriptions again. And then we are going to name our account. So we're going to click here and let's just say example subscription. Now, if we were to click save right now, this will be saved as just a normal account or what's referred to as a parent account. But since we want it to be a sub account, we're going to go here to this little check mark beside, is it a sub account? And we're going to check that. And then we're going to click here on this field and we can either scroll until we see the one we want it to be under or we can just start typing it in. So in our case, we're just going to start typing it in. And here's dues and subscriptions right here. We're going to click there. And now we can go down here to the bottom and click save and close. And it takes us right back here to the transaction that we were categorizing before. And now you'll be able to see here that in this account section, we have dues and subscriptions, colon, example, subscription right here. So if you ever see that colon here in this account field, then you'll know that whatever is behind that colon is the sub account that this transaction is going to be categorized to. Now you'd obviously want to enter your payee here in this section. So let's just select a random one here for this example. And then we're going to click on add either here at the bottom or right here in the blue. Okay, perfect. Now this transaction was categorized. All right, now Amazon Prime obviously doesn't cost $800, but for this example, we're gonna pretend that it does and that this is a payment for that subscription. So we're gonna click here on this transaction. And when you're doing this, you're of course gonna wanna enter the correct vendor. But for the sake of time, we're gonna just leave it here as Bob's Burger Joint for this example. And over here in the account field, we're going to start typing in Amazon because we want this to be our Amazon Prime sub account. Then we're going to click here on this. As you can see, like we just talked about, it's dues and subscriptions colon Amazon Prime. And right here, you can see it's a sub of dues and subscriptions. And now we're going to go over here and click add. Now let's go back to our profit and loss report like we did at the beginning of this video. And we're going to show how it looks now with our new sub accounts set up. So let's go over here to the reports tab on the left menu bar there. Click on that and we're going to find profit and loss, which is right here. Click on that. And now we're going to scroll down until we find the dues and subscription parent account, which is right here. And now underneath here, you're going to see our sub accounts that we just created and the categorized expenses that we categorized to each of these. Here's our $800 Amazon Prime and our $1,200 example subscription. And that's how sub accounts work in QuickBooks Online. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I've recorded a QuickBooks Online crash course for busy business owners like yourself. I know your time is valuable, so I've created this concise QuickBooks in 30 minutes crash course where I guide you through the essentials of QuickBooks Online. I cover everything from choosing the correct QuickBooks account for your business needs, syncing your bank and credit card accounts, invoicing customers, entering bills, categorizing transactions, generating financial reports, and so much more, all within 30 minutes. So if you're ready to streamline your bookkeeping and get back to running your business with confidence, then check out the link to this free crash course in the description of this video. Consider it my gift to you for watching until the end of this video. Now, if you found this video valuable, I'd be honored if you would give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And if you'd like to be notified when we post our next video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or topics that you'd like us to cover, go ahead and leave us a comment below. Now click or tap the screen here to check out the video where I cover how to import sub accounts into QuickBooks Online or click or tap the screen here to check out another one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next video.